cooperative, a shared kitchen, an underground Stalinist economy being run out of your neighbor's garden. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's, it's just, it's been badly marketed, the whole word cooperative. But in fact, it's 20% of our world economy. They're very, very well-established businesses. So my name's Judith Turner. I'm founder and executive director of Florida Cooperative Empowered Economic Development. And as of tonight, I found out I'm very directive. <laughs> so uh, what we do is we provide education because the one thing I see is people really don't understand the transactional aspects of cooperatives. So we provide a lot of education. We do a free class every month through the St. Saint, uh, Saint Pete Greenhouse, which is the Small Business Assistance Center. We do, we speak at meetings and we give presentations about what cooperatives are. Um, we, also, um, we also are starting a cooperative entrepreneurship class, an eight week series, to help people understand what this business model is. And why we think this is important, going back to the problem, is I realized in my journey that people have two instincts. They're competitive and they're co collaborative. They're cooperative. And it seems to me that the competitiveness in our culture has just really outweighed our sense of collaboration and our cooperation. And it really probably is one of the driving contributors to income inequality. And income inequality at this point is at its highest point in history, in recorded history. It's higher than ancient Egypt times, which is pretty bad. Scholars say it's worse than ancient Roman times. And cooperatives solve these problems. They kind of distribute the power um, and decision-making process back to the people who use, create, or produce the service. So cooperatives are businesses that are owned by the people who use, create, and they benefit the members of the service. Um, so we see cooperatives as a solution. Typically, cooperatives are created when government and the private sector has failed to solve a problem. That's why grocery co-ops pop up in small towns. In, in areas that are uh, food deserts. Um, so people come together and they solve their own problem and they own that business. So it re-engages people with their economy and it, um, anyway, <laughs> creates community wealth. Uh, we do youth co-ops, we do agriculture co-ops and housing co-ops. So they solve many, many problems. What I wanna ask is come to our classes and learn about co-ops. That's it.